is George Suarez. He's the marketing uh, uh, marketing manager for this store. Uh, George has uh, obviously got some sweat and blood along with your employees into this this building. Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about how long this effort's been going on and, and uh, what it's been like for you guys to, uh, to get the store up and running? Sure, we've been here now about six, seven weeks getting all the store ready. Uh, we have over 300 outfitters that are in here. Uh, at any point, we could have up to 300. Right now, we probably have about 100 today right now. Still getting the store ready. We're probably about 90%. Uh, ready to go. We're two weeks away from our grand opening on July 25th, 11 a.m. We expect a, a nice crowd out front, so we're looking forward to that. And uh, I'm happy to give you guys a quick tour of how unique this Cabela's is. If you've been to any other Cabela's in the country, uh, this one is uh, not uh, being biased here, but this is the best one. This is a very unique store, and I'll point out some of those little uh, Nit tidbits for you guys today. Fantastic, George. I'll let you. I'll let you take us on the tour if you want. And maybe, maybe first off, can you, can you absolutely. Tell us about, uh, if, as you look straight, straight through here, you see obviously our conservation mountain, and we have a plane. Uh, our plane actually has a pilot, and he's been nicknamed Vince. And right there, it looks like he's about to land on his street out there on Lombardi Avenue. Uh, our mountain has over 60 mounts on it total. Uh, if you see the little TV screen there, right under the moose, the, we have two of those: one in the front, one in the back, and those are interactive touch screens. So every animal that we have on the mount is on there. So you can see the native species, where they live, a video of that particular animal, and also most of the animals have their call. So when you go and you touch the screen, uh, you can hear a bear call or the moose call, a caribou call, and, uh, and it's pretty loud. So once it's touched, the whole store will know that someone's at the, at the mountain. And we'll do that a little later, later today during this, uh, this quick tour. Uh, we'll pick out an animal and we'll show you how that works. Gotcha. George, you look at something like that. When did the store start to feel like it was coming alive? Was it, was it when these monsters started going? Was it when the merchandise started showing up? When did, when did it start to feel like it was taking a heartbeat? I, I, I think as soon as you, we first walked in here when there was nothing here uh, except the mountain and the plane, which was uh, you could see right from 41. Once, once that happens, all of a sudden it starts and you see the animals. Once the animals went on the mount, at least for me, that's almost like this is, this is really happening. This is now coming to, to fruition. And then you see now all the mounts, and we probably have the average Cabela storage has about 400 mounts, and we're probably in that neighborhood here. If you include fish, fish mounts as well, uh, you see the ones that line the whole main main drag here. Uh, every single one of these murals that, that are here also completely hand painted. Uh, the gentleman that did these, probably if I remember correctly, six to eight weeks, he comes here, he gets up on a on a lift, he finishes touches them up, and then the mounts go up. Uh, and we have from the elk. We have turkeys, we have the bears over there fighting with the beehive for honey, wolf, we have whitetail, and Canada moose, Canadian moose right here. Uh, and it's very, very cool when you first walk in here. You, all you can say is wow. Wow, well, exactly, wow. And I'll, I'll let you continue us on over, uh, over, over Absolutely, this let's head on this way over here. As we walk slowly over to this side, we start walking through uh, a lot of our departments here with our cashier lanes and so forth. A lot of our folks are still here getting ready for it, we went through all their training and so we can provide the exceptional customer service that you come to expect from Cabela's. We're starting to approach our Northern Territory Cafe. This is our deli. And right now it's being used by a lot of our outfitters who are getting ready and training on our computer systems for cashier, customer service, etc. cetera. Um, but our menu is up there and some of our items that we'll have we'll have a lot of wild game uh, on sandwiches on the menu. So you'll see like elk sandwiches, wild boar sandwiches. So that's just some of the things that we can uh, that we can offer here. We have a small conference room that is available also for any groups and activities. Uh, a lot of our conservation partners, your Ducks Unlimited, Trout Unlimited, uh, will have meetings here, demos, seminars, if we're doing something like a waterfall classic or an archery classic in, in the next few months and so forth. So a lot of those celebrity pro staff will come and they'll do a, a quick demo or a seminar on how to do something, something as simple as calling Canadian geese. And we'll do that right here from our conference room. Well, how is that for scheduling? I mean, is it a matter of just calling the store and, and, and setting up that once, once it's up and running, or is there a process for that? Yeah, actually, if, uh, once, once the store is up and running, if you go to cabelas.com slash Green Bay, you'll see a list of all of the events and demos and seminars that are going on at any time. So you'll usually see anywhere from three, to a couple, three, three weeks to a couple of months out, knowing that, oh, there's going to be a seminar on calling Canadian geese. I really want to see that, and then it's all planned out for you. You can plan your, plan your day right around that event calendar. Gotcha. You know, as, as we kind of move on here, in terms of, of your draw, how big an area is the store going to draw from in terms of your customer base? Well, this, this uh, being here in Northeast Wisconsin, obviously it's a big hunting area. So we will draw not only from just Northeast Wisconsin, the western part of the state, but even into the UP and Michigan. So how the Gun Guy Library works, is you can bring in your firearm here to be appraised. And we will, we will buy your, your firearm uh, and so forth. And everything that we have in this gun library is available for sale. A lot of these Firearms here are antiques and collectibles, anything from World War I, World War II era guns, uh, maybe even some Civil War era guns. 
So if we walk in a little bit, give you guys a better, better look. All of our firearms are showcased in here. So you see handguns, uh, antique collectibles, there's old, old uh, World War I relics uh, will be here and everything that you see here is for sale. Our gun library manager is Mike Sims. It's a gentleman right here. Uh, and he's the guy to come see if you come to the gun library. No one knows more about firearms than Mr. Mr. Sims right here. Wow. And George, talking about employees, how many, how many people will you have working here and how many are working here currently? Uh, right now this morning, we, we probably have about 100 working here this morning. Uh, we have over 300 outfitters that have been hired. Obviously, depending on different shifts and so forth, you uh, grand opening, it'll be an all hands on deck type uh, event. So you come grand opening, we'll have roughly 300 outfitters. We'll be here uh, to help you if you come that day, and we hope that you do. We expect a nice crowd, and we hope to see everyone there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, that said, what are you getting in terms of early response, uh, you know, in terms of people showing up wanting to get oh, it? Oh, sure. The, uh, the, the community response has been unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, it, it just has. Uh, from, from the local business community to just folks, that, hey, we're still setting up, and we got our grand opening sign right out front saying we open July 25th, and you just coming from the parking lot, and folks just can't wait. You see them driving in now, yeah. driving in, and they get out of the car, and they got their whole family with them, and you have to, I'm sorry, we're not open yet. Just give us a couple more weeks, and you're more than happy to, to take you on inside. So folks just can't wait to get inside the doors. Yeah, I'm guessing that's good for you guys. Absolutely. <laughs> so right now we're in our hunting, hunting department as well. So as we see some of our fitters, you know, we're still getting the last few details wrapped up here. As we come through here, up above our hunting department, our gun counter there, that's our African display. Every Cabela's has an African display in one way or another. Ours is above the gun counter. So what we have there, we have anything from our white rhino. Uh, we have Cape Buffalo. There's zebra up there as well, and there's an African lion. Um, one of the questions that when, when folks come and they come with little kids, there is a famous uh, Disney character up there, uh, which is the warthog. Yep. If everybody remembers him from the Lion King, he's up there. Uh, and this is a, another popular area. So between uh, the gun library, our gun counter, and we go into our, our ammo. This is where all our hunting stuff is. And as we move over a little bit more this way, we'll start to turn here in a little bit and we'll start getting into our archery department, which is another really cool area of our store. And we'll come around the corner here. You gotta watch out right there. <laughs> you gotta be careful with that guy right I, there. I think, I think you just saved my life, George. Yeah, that cougar, you, know, you gotta be careful for him. Uh, He's a popular guy here, catches everyone by surprise. So. I, was, I was gonna say, what's been the response with this mount? I mean, I, I, oh, someone was talking it, to me about it. Up front absolutely, early. the first thing that everyone always says about it is, how does it stay up uh, the way that it's done? And that's a, that's a secret, so we won't, we won't divulge <laughs> how that stays up, but it, uh, but it is, it, it looks like he's just floating in air, so we can just say it's a little bit of Cabela's magic. And we're gonna approach the mountain once more here, sure. talk a little bit more of that, and then we're gonna get into one of the very unique features of this store, which is the Wisconsin Sportsman's Hall of Fame, which we are proud to be the host of. Gotcha. gotcha. And we're looking at archery as we come through this right here. Absolutely. We have a 15-foot archery range here, as well as an archery workshop. So one of the things that we do here, any, any customers that come in and want to try out a bow, uh, all expert outfitter will be more than happy to take care of them, and they can try it out in our 15-foot archery range. If their bow needs repair for any reason, they can bring it into us as well, and we have a small workshop there where they can uh, work on your bow and get it ready for you for your next, uh, for your next trip. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And this, this, uh, you know, the store is kind of divided, divided in half, more or less, with hunting this side, fishing the other side, and, and yeah, kind of a parallel in the middle. Absolutely, hunting is on this side, and you'll notice with the Wisconsin Sportsman Hall of Fame, it's wow. actually split in half. We have two wings. We have the hunting wing, which is on the side that we're walking on right now, mm -hmm. and then the fishing side is on the fishing side of the of the building. So, as we as we approach here, our our our, uh, our mountain here, like I said before, we have over 60 mounts on this. Anything ranging from uh, muskox, which you'll see from the back to something really, really small, like a chipmunk. And if you can catch the chipmunk, he is sitting on that log right there. Oh, and sure. I just noticed him just a couple of weeks ago. So every time you walk by here, you pick up on something new. Gotcha, looks like you got a prairie dog in there, uh, and there's, some other things as well. Yeah, there's, there's prairie dogs in there, there's ducks, there's pheasants. We have different types of sheep, mountain lion. There's a grizzly bear right over on the, other, on the right side of where you're looking at right now. Uh, moose and whitetail. And in the back, we have a polar bear. Uh, we also have wolves. We got a wolverine back there as well, which is pretty cool. We actually got two wolverines in the store, and, and uh, we'll show one, and then one towards the, the end of this tour, we'll showcase the second wolverine who is putting up a good fight against a bear. Okay, cool. Look forward to seeing that one. And then over one here, of, uh, oh, go one ahead. Of our, one, one of our very unique aspects of this store 
is our mountain. Our mountain is a 360 degree mountain. You can walk all the way around it. And not only that, you can walk right through it. So we have an approximate 8,000 gallon aquarium inside the mountain that's gonna host crappie, bluegill, and bass. Uh, and we also have on the back side of the uh, other side of the mountain, we'll walk around. We have another 6,000 gallon aquarium that houses four different types of trout. We have brown trout, brook trout, rainbow, and golden rainbow. And we'll see those when we walk on the other side of the mountain. So let me take you guys into our hunting uh, wing of the Wisconsin Sportsman's Hall of Fame. There are 14 mounts, including the two on the ground, in this, uh, in this wing. All of them here are replicas of state records with the exception of one. There is one here that is entirely real, and I'll leave it, leave it up to the viewers of the Press Gazette to come in here and see if they can uh, pinpoint that. Uh, I've been talking about this for probably about five weeks now, and only one time has someone guessed correctly which one is the real mount. So it's a good challenge, and I pose that out to all the viewers to, to come on in here, see if they can find who the real mount is in the, in the hunting side of the Hall of Fame here. George, obviously that, that, that brings some, some local flavor, some state flavor to, to this store. How important is it for Cabela's to have you know, kind of that, that Wisconsin signature on, on their locations in the state. Absolutely. Everything, not just from the Wisconsin Sportsman's Hall of Fame, when we went by the Northwood Territory Cafe, which is our deli, it's named after the Northwoods. If you look into our conference room, uh, our, it's like a log cabin in there, uh, a unique aspect of ours. Our, our conference room, it, it is uh, a small conference room as opposed to other Cabela's who have several conference rooms. We have one, but we have a fireplace in there as well, uh, as well as uh, we have a bear pelt on the wall. So it's very unique to this area. And that's just one of the aspects. If you look around the store, anything from these old, old photographs that you see on the wall from early 20th century fishing expeditions and, and hunting expeditions that a lot of the sportsmen here in the state did earlier in the 20th century. We come around the back side of the mountain. This is our second kiosk that we have back here, and we'll do a call on sure. here so folks can uh, listen to what something sounds like. Any one of these animals, we can pick which one you want, and we'll see if we can get a sound out of them. Uh, a unique aspect of this store is also very unique, and anybody who's driven down 41 yeah. has already seen it, yeah. is the top to bottom glass, where you can, right from 41, right from the Lombardi exit here, you can look right in, and you see the mountain, you see the plain, and we have three bronze sculptures out, for, uh, out in the back here. One of them is a black bear, we have white tail, and we have a nine foot moose back there as well. And then this aspect is completely unique as well. This museum display piece.